All right, traders, stay late. Thank you for staying late with me. This is your Market Recap Show. I'm Sean Katina at Trader TV. Sean, all over the place. Go find it on Instagram and whatnot. Tan, wow, we're going to start off with a nice little move today back on the NASDAQ. I was just looking at Tan today, up 4.8%. Of course, this is the Invesco Solar ETF that was down 6% yesterday, uh, battling back today, nicely back up to the upside. We will wait. You can see on the board today, we'll be waiting for Cisco, Oxy. There's also Twilio. As soon as those hit, uh, you'll have it live on the board. Yesterday, we had Upstart, which was absolutely fantastic. We're going to wait for it. If you could see right here, we are going to get the news off of the Benzinga website. So as soon as that comes out, I will have it right now. SSS is halted. Yesterday, we had Upstart halted, uh, and they kind of scared us a little bit with that move down today. But we're going to have to wait to see what happens right now on um, SSSS. But we're still waiting for Cisco and Oxy. So those are going to be the two important ones. Not gas today, UNG, man. Basically, I'm pretty sure this is all-time lows. Uh, let me just go over to UNG right now. Let's go to a monthly chart. Like, there it is. Like, not gas is just getting absolutely destroyed. Like, you know, uh, uh, like 1,000 right there. Down right now, UNG, the natural gas fund, down to $13 and lower right now. Starting to go lower, lower, lower. So I don't know how far we're going to be going down on this name, but it continues to get beat up pretty good, man. And this is, a, I'm glad I questioned Sharif on this position when he had it, uh, and he got the heck out of Dodge on that one. But again, I don't know what's going on where you guys are, but it's pretty warm in and around uh, the northeastern, I guess, seaboard. We're in... Toronto, Ontario, but uh, again, really, really warm right now. UNG getting hit to the downside. Also today, oil. Yesterday, we had two up markets. We had UUP, which was the US dollar, and we had oil. Today, both like part of the only red. Uh, we had gold and energy and the dollar. Gold, energy, and the dollar red today. Ciao, Adara. Uh, as she's out of there right now. So uh, that's fine. Yeah, you can keep it right there. Um, all right, so that's that. That's USO. The big one today, everybody that was worried yesterday about the NASDAQ, what are we going to do about the NASDAQ? All my positions, oh my God, the turn is happening. Well, it's not happening at all. Let me go over to a daily chart here uh, for you guys on the triple Qs. Look at this. We're still poking our head in and around highs. We did get a pushback yesterday. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit here uh, for that. There's the pushback down to 427 and change on the queues down that 1.7 percent today you could see the queues up 1.1 so we almost get it all back and part of that was nvidia my best trade today we're going to talk about this when we get to the sticky note uber was like uh that was a great trade today on uber but look at nvidia just continues to go man it's at highs that little wick up there 746 what are we going to do guys when this thing breaks 750 what up to chef joe and everybody that's in the chat like we talked about that break of 700 um and it just keeps on going man like just keeps on going there's 700 right there looks like we can hold that we have a week today and we get nvidia i'm not seeing anything really popping through anymore i'm going to open up the chat right here uh just to see you guys do a great job of kind of informing me everybody in the chat I got to thank you guys for staying late, man. I know traders stay late. Hopefully for you guys, you're chilling right now. We were really chilling in the last couple minutes of the day because we had Arm down. We had uh, Uber down, uh, or Upside, sorry. We had all of those really, really great trades to end the day. Um, and yeah, we go, uh, you know, basically a nice little top off there. Let's see what else happens. Oh, me and Neil made, not made fun of this name, but there's Upwork, uh, UPWK. Let's see uh, what happens right there. Actually, Cisco, actually, uh, Upwork is up right now, a little bit up. Cisco is now out. So let's go find out what Cisco is doing. Uh-oh, uh, old tech, Cisco downside. Cisco, $47, starting to go down. Down $3 right now from Cisco. Um, I'm hearing it in my ear, but I don't have it. 70 cents versus 84 cents. Cisco downside right now. Um, if you're going to find some support, we're right there right now. Let me zoom out a little bit on Cisco. So Cisco is falling into $48. Revenue, $12.8 billion in my ear. Not sure what's expected, but Cisco coming to the downside. We talked about this yesterday. Here's Cisco live. Again, who next? Who going to show this? Cisco, downside move right now. $48 starting to make the move down. So there's Cisco, but just falling into the lap here of $47. Only down 3%. When I can see that news, I'll get it for you. It's not on the Benzinga platform quite yet. Here's Cisco. I don't see it. Once it comes on there, I will get it to you. But Cisco right now bouncing nicely off. 
Tesla shares spiking apparently right now. Um, 13G filing. Tesla's going. Tesla's at 194 right now. Tesla's starting to go here in the after hours. A 13G filing from Elon Musk sends Tesla to the moon. Tesla 194, 194.50. Tesla's going. This is a live level two. Again, we got to clip this. Whoever's watching, clip this. Tesla right now, 194 and going. This, I mean, again, Oh, let me see what CNBC is doing. Oh, yeah, nothing right now. There goes Tesla. Huge move to the upside on Tesla. 5% up, 13G filing for Tesla. Cisco making a move as well. But it's Tesla starting to get going to the upside. All right, here's Cisco quickly. Uh, again, 48.50, who cares? All right, uh, it's Tesla making the move up. It's a 13G filing, and it's starting to go upside. So I guess there's a 13G filing from uh, it's an amended, I'm hearing it in my ear, 13G filing from Elon himself uh, reporting how... Oh, damn. Guess what percent stake Elon has right now? If you said 20, you're right. So he has 20% right now. Let's get going uh, on this. That's good. He talked about no AI for you until you, we get 25% uh, of that right now. Um, okay, so there it is, Elon Musk. Check the account you sent that from, uh, uh, Brendan, that's hilarious. 20.5% uh, stake, so we got that story as well. Thanks, Brendo, for that right there. Um, that's a huge move, man. Well, maybe we'll talk to Chris Brecher about this as well, if he has anything for us on Tesla. But Tesla all the way back up to 195, and look at that. Look where Tesla goes, everybody. Traders stay late, and I'm sure as hell happy you guys stayed with me. Because if you got that bump up right there, you should have sold it. Well, shoulda, coulda, woulda. I mean, it could go higher than this. But I'm just saying, right into past resistance right there for Tesla as that's going. I want to thank everybody for watching. 4,000 watching, let's go. We're also streaming live right now on Twitch, on Twitter. Twitch. Oh, maybe we should go on Twitch. I think we should go on Rumble as well, by the way. So we're working on that uh, as well. But there it is. It's a nice move up there uh, for Tesla. Elon Musk now has a 20.5%. 20.5% stake in the company on, a new, on an amended 13G filing. So that's cool, man. That's awesome. Here's the news right now uh, from uh, Benzinga. So there it is right there. 20.5% stake as of December 31st. Okay, so a little bit old, but again, that's where the filings come in, right? We talk about being a rigged market, but there it is right there. It's coming out right now, 20.5% stake. He mentioned not worried about doing anything or not wanting to do anything with AI until 25. That's pretty close, man. Uh-oh, big burry bet on Chinese. Oh, we already talked about uh, uh, burry today. So actually, a pretty interesting thing there from Michael Burry. We'll talk about that on Sean's tweets. It's 4.10. We're getting excited today. Um, all right, uranium with a nice move today. All right, this is a daily chart, but uranium trying to battle off that 50 period. Very exciting there as nuclear energy all the rage. Man, I know I'm in this sweater today. Shout out to VFC Corp. I should be, this should be a sponsor. But it's hot in here, says Nelly. All right, Cisco apparently coming back upside right now. Oh, no, no, sorry. Getting lower, Cisco, right now. Uh, off the lows of 47, but still pushing lower. Watch out for 47 break there on Cisco. Today, quickly, SPY up 0.9. That's the S&P 500. Nice to see that, man. These are all all-time highs. So every time we're, we're, we're here on the market, this is where you are. The one name, I'm still waiting for Occidental. I, I don't see Occidental yet. And I want to say thank you to everybody in the chat, man. You guys mean a lot to me. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Um, all right, so IWM. Again, you're going to say, Sean, IWM is near the highs. I mean, what are you even talking about? It's right here, right? Nah, but if you pull this back out uh, to a weekly chart right now, um, shares of Apple going downside. Maybe there's some news about Apple. But look at IWM right now. Look at this shelf. I mean, it needs to break. It shelf is normally lower, but needs to break this top higher. 199, two bills. I'm long IWM if we break 205.80 right there. I like the trade, but needs to work. We're still way off of the highs of 250 there on IWM. I just heard out of my ear, uh, in my ear, out of my ear, that'd be kind of cool, uh, that Apple making, uh-oh, Hey now, Apple. 
Apple making moves here. What's up with that? Apple with the nice move down to the downside right now. I'm not hitting bang for Apple. I'm, uh, but yeah, Apple making a move in. We'll find out what the news is there. But again, this shouldn't surprise anybody. Apple's been pretty weak over the last little while. I mean, look, look, look at the trend down here. There it is hitting 182 again. That bottom is 180. I think all of us are waiting to see what happens down there at 180, right? If it can get there, then fine. But I, I'm, not, I'm not buying that dip. Oh. Berkshire and Apple, I think, is the news. Selling shares. What? Berkshire Hathaway, 13, okay, so 13 Fs are coming out. Wow, Decrease, decreases stake in Apple to only 905 million shares. Jeez, I don't know how many they had in the first place. But Apple getting decreased there. Now, I don't want everybody to like be jumping the gun on like, what does this mean? I have no idea the last couple times um, what Berkshire has been doing with Apple. They could be pairing off. It would make sense, you know. And, and again, they, they could have something where Apple is a certain percentage of their portfolio, and that's that. So I don't want to say that that's any sort of a reason to sell Apple. But um, what I want to talk about right now is Tesla. I don't know enough about it other than what I've told you. It's a 13G filing from CEO Elon Musk, the largest shareholder in Apple and the third most, most wealthiest, it might even be harder than that now, individual in the world, now has a 20% stake. Occidental's out uh, right now. Let's go find out what Oxy's doing. So again, Berkshire, isn't that funny that Berkshire uh, goes from Apple and then all of a sudden uh, Oxy? So right now, it's, uh, it's out, it's a beat, uh, 71 cents expected. I missed what they reported in my ear, but right now, Oxy not doing anything. This is a one minute chart. Occidental uh, sleeping right now. Apparently an out right there for Occidental, but uh, it's out for them. I'm not really seeing a huge move up for Oxy, but apparently it's out. Uh, what a big day it was for IBIT. This is gonna look a little silly on a weekly chart, so let me throw this down to at least a day chart. Bitcoin today had themselves a day, man. Nice moves, settling in around 52,000. You can see I like this. Um, for a tracker, but Neil made a pretty good point today um, that Arc B is it Arc dot B? No, it's just Arc B. Okay, so I got Berkshire in my mind. In my mind. Uh, so Arc B today. This this name is an interesting one to follow because it actually, I think it tracks Bitcoin dollar for dollar. So when you see fifty one dollars and seventy two cents, that's fifty one thousand seven twenty roughly, right? So um, I feel like that's pretty important there. Twilio shares, Twilio is out now. If Chris is ready, we're gonna call on him soon. Twilio is out, so Twilio does a little bit of a dance. Looks like we might have missed it earlier. Down to $65 now, Twilio not great. Um, just mentioning here on Benzinga that Twilio shares are trading lower after the reported Q4 financial results. I don't have the results here, but it is trading lower, and we did know. There's Tesla right there, again. Oh, there it is, right here, sorry, my bad. Uh, there's Twilio right there, 86 cents is a beat. Verse 58, sales is also a beat. So where is the Twilio guide, which must be lower? I don't see it here anywhere. Uh, that's that. Well, there it is right there. There it is. So the guide comes right now for me. So Twilio guides 56 to 60, verse 54. That's better. But then they guide lower on the revenue. So that's going to send them lower. Remember, I went on a little bit of a rant. It wasn't much of a rant, but it was this. About Twilio's down 5%. What happens if these guys guide lower? I hope they don't guide lower. If NVIDIA comes a week from now, I mean, I don't know. I think we have Danielle Shea on next Thursday, so that'll be great. Um, but again, NVIDIA is out a week today. So let's set records, man. Traders stay late. Send this to all of your friends. We need to talk more about this, man. FSLY is also out. Like, there's no other show that's going to do this, man. Back and forth with all the best earnings given to you. Fastly, um, what? Fastly down $23, down to 19 and change. Now down 14 cents. Fastly reports a loss of 14 cents uh, versus an estimate of a loss of 34 cents. So again, better than expected on the EPS. It must be a guide for Fastly going down to the downside. I just want to thank everybody for watching. And if we're ready, are we ready? We're not ready yet, apparently. Okay, so we will wait. I'm excited to get Chris on here. Look at KRE. 
KRE, again, the financials, you want a name that's bouncing off the 200 period and you trust regional banks, KRE might be the name for you. Right now, JP Morgan, I'm gonna take this out of my ear because we've already got all the big stories. Uh, JP Morgan, 175, bouncing on highs again on JP Morgan, if we come over to the screen. I know you guys are setting some stuff up here, but let's just show some charts. There's uh, JP Morgan again, bouncing off the 50 period, right back up to the highs. Man, these bank stocks consider, uh, can continue uh, to be well, well traded, man. XLF, another high as we get going. If you have the Hydration Nation button, I gotta hit it. Uh, apple tastes so nice. Uh, apple tastes so nice. Apple does taste nice, but water tastes nice. Here's Fastly, guys. Fastly, Q4, just quickly, and then we'll get to Chris. Uh, Q4, there's the beat. One cent versus minus two cents. The sales, miss on sales. Probably also miss on the guide. So I don't have anything for Oxy, but Fastly right now, F-S-L-Y. Let's just have a quick look at that before we go over there. Fastly, nice push to the downside, man. I feel bad uh, about this stock. But again, you know, at highs, making the move back down only into protection right now. Imagine this is where we're at, 1940 right here. That's literally like the 50 period moving average. So let's see what happens there for Fastly back down to the downside. Cisco again, oh no, sales guidance below estimates for Cisco. I'll probably, you know, after seeing some of these reports, Tesla's an interesting one because I was going to say I might go bearish tomorrow, but TSLA, not TSTLSA, Tesla's now pulling back a little bit down to 190. Maybe we fade that 195 tomorrow. But again, look at 195 here on the daily chart. Definitely those highs. Uh, just give me an okay for Chris uh, when we're ready. I guess we must be having some difficulties with him, but he's going to come back soon. Uh, okay, so Occidental, nice move back up to the upside there. As you can see right now, um, Occidental, EPS right now of 74 cents is a beat of 71. Hey there, can you hear me? Um, it's going to be about the guide. So right now, that's what it's doing. Look at HubSpot right now. Nice little move for HubSpot. 51 cents versus 52. Nice move on sales. Let's check out Hubs right now. I like HubSpot because I'm a CRM shareholder, right? So CRM right now, let's check, check out what they're doing flat. Wow, look at CRM. Boom, that's a nice move. Why haven't we talked about, I'll, I'll get Chris in a second. Why haven't we talked about CRM more? Look at HubSpot. By the way, that sales force... Man, this was another COVID darling for me, man. I remember buying this one. This is why I don't know the price. Uh, it's way up. I did sell some Salesforce in this area for sure, for sure. So Salesforce continues to go higher. All right, we're ready. I'm trusting you, Fabian. It's Trader Talk. Let's go. Hey there. Uh, how you doing? Can you hear me okay? All Don't right, worry. there we go. You're a little bit ahead of me, my guy. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Hey, I have a shirt like that. I like that. Oh, thank you. Valentine's shirt, I guess. Um, what, what are you in the white? What are you guys doing? I, I'm not done. I'm not done about this Valentine's Day. You're not skipping this part. What What are you up to tonight? Um, we're going to a uh, sushi place near us. Boom! So, yes, sir. That we've never never been to, so it's um, worth a try. It's you know I'm excited about that. My uh, you know traffic in Atlanta though is dicey, but I'm crossing my fingers. Yeah, yeah. Apparently there's an Uber strike today too. I tried to call one just for fun here. It was there was one two minutes away, man. I don't I don't know if there's a strike or not happening uh, around here. But well, happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. Yeah, you too. All right, thank you. Um, all right, so uh, let's start talking a little bit about trading. You messaged me today. Um, what do you want? I see you have arm up. You want to go over that quickly, and then you want maybe yeah, talk sure. about the cues. Um, let's go. One thing I thought you noticed behind me, you don't see snakes anymore. We talked about that last week. Remember? Yeah, well, my daughter left me a present, just uh, so you know. Oh, the just skin. A teeny snake skin here. Oh, my God. Yeah, How that's, long? Uh, that's a big one. She that's... hung it from my microphone. Is that 10 feet? What is that? Yeah, it's about four feet. Four feet, so, 10 uh... feet, okay. <laughs> that would have been a monster snake, I guess, 10 feet. Uh, okay, <laughs> um, all right, so... I, I actually today, I really traded arm to the short side. We had a 130 break down to 122. And then we were trading. Me too. Oh, okay. Oh, you must have been watching Trader TV Live. Um, and then we have, and then we had, thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Uh, and then we had the break. And then we had the VWAP hold all the way through that 128 level. I really liked it. But I'm going to turn the floor over to you. Let's share some charts and go find out what you want to talk about with arm, Chris. Yeah, sure. Uh, one thing is, 
Definitely when I saw the markets yesterday hit price support, that's where we didn't go home short. Let's just put it that right. way. But there's always these stragglers you could go to on the downside. And we were playing this. I even uh, put it, annotated it. I don't know if you could see that on there. But we're really into these like 45-degree angles to look for tops. Right. And then, like, next week, I'm at the Money Show in Las Vegas for four days. I'm doing things on bear flags. And there's your bear flag after the break. But right here, we shorted it. We shorted more there. And then it comes down to where do you buy it? Well, you see the lack of support all the way to the gap. But if you didn't do it that way, well, we played it to almost unchanged. Yeah. Or you could play it when it got over that ATR trailing stop. You know, I like playing, which is right here. So you might have missed some of it. Some of the, uh, you still made six points. But what we did is we took that. And once it really accelerates and gets too far from that ATR trailing stop, we usually get out. In fact, then we'll use something like a 20 moving average. All right. So, I mean, because the ATR trailing stop is a measure of average true range. Right. So if it goes nuts, so with average true range, you got to use something else. I so like that's that. why we covered right in here. I like that. I like that 130 break. Um, uh, let me explain to you what I did on my charts here, just real quick. If you come over to my screen, thanks, Chris, for all that. Look at this dump at the end of the day, though. Oh, that sucks. We had to cover because I got to come over here and, and, and do this, but into 124. So for me, there's the 130 break. There's the dip down. We didn't actually get anything out at 122, but then all these VWAP shorts into the end of the day, taking multiple dollars with very, very small amount of risk, didn't get stopped out. Nice move in there. We got one out there, reloaded it back down. Arm still fades out. And and honestly, Chris, I, I really think that ARM over the next couple of days, I, I'm looking for a 110 retest. Uh, we do have a lot of news coming through with, uh, I, I feel like it was March 10th, March 13th. We got to find out the soft bank uh, when they're able to, when the lockup, I think it's one, 180 days after um, initial IPO, or in this case, I guess, direct list. So um, have you ever traded stuff like that? Shareholder lockups where now all of a sudden, yeah, yeah so that should be really good. Or do you have do you have trades like that often on your radar? Yeah, um, the prop. Well, right now with Arm, the reason that we did that trade and didn't go back is on Thinkorswim and Schwab. It wasn't available to borrow anymore. Right. And then it was too late in the day, so I didn't want to just buy puts because they expire on Friday. And then it futzing the ra around the last hour, we would have lost on premium. But definitely those lockup expirations, just hard to find them a lot of times. Yeah. But yeah, yeah that's a big deal. Um, the other thing that's a big deal is what you mentioned with Apple, because how many times have you seen Apple start to go down for no reason? Yep. Warren Buffett's on CNBC touting Apple when he's really sitting there and lightening up. But the biggest tell for us was last week. Because Apple has a habit of going to its strike Let's go price. To charts, yep. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And so on Friday, when it couldn't get back to 190, right. so it just wouldn't go there, wouldn't go there right here, right on Friday, we're like, something's not right. It should have gotten to, to the strike price. So that's why we were bearish coming in this week, because if something doesn't go to a big strike price, and closes under it a lot of times it follows through to the downside the next week. So I mean, you know, isn't it so isn't another big good. strike price there? So should we be looking at 180? Because I mean it's kind of the same logic. If we're not gonna get to 190 on the upside on a name like Apple, then aren't we gonna try to retest 180 on the downside? I mean, we're only well, that's a good question. Is like, I know you. um you use really helpful using trade ideas, and we like using well, we have the Thinkorswim and we have the Schwab yep. and I have other platforms, but those two are where I put in my orders and you can go to scan and scan for the biggest open interest on Friday. Oh. And basically we just take my main list and all we're doing is looking for, you'll see. And let me show you, if I have a minute, I'll show you. I mean, I don't see anything in the scanner, so I'll give you a minute to load it up. Come over to me and I'll let you load that bad boy up. Um, I'm just, let, let's go over to here. I just wanna talk about Tesla right now quickly. Um, Tesla again on that 13G filing uh, by Mr. Musk. That's right, Mr. Musk. 
Uh, but now it's fading back down a little bit. I really like this story. Um, we'll let Chris load this up, but then, and then after this, I want to get your opinion on finally Tesla maybe finding a bottom as well. I mean, for all the viewers out there, for me on Tesla, I really think that this is an important step. It's because of the talk about AI. Elon Musk said until he gets 25% of the company, he didn't want to push the AI uh, forward too much. But it looks like right now, I'm going to get that story corrected for everybody tomorrow. But it looks like right now he's getting closer and closer to that. So again, I'm going to put Tesla back on the radar uh, tomorrow for, for another trade. We're waiting for that 182 level. I don't think we're going to get there tomorrow, but Tesla is fading uh, right now. Okay, Chris, we got it all loaded up. So let me go over to your screen now. And uh, again, I'll give you the mic. Explain to me what all these calls are doing on your screen and puts actually. All right. Well, the thing is like when I was on the floor, I was in the IBM pit for a long time. When things have a pin risk, it's when you have a lot of open interest on both sides of the market. So if you have 30,000 on one side and 100 on the other, that's right. not likely to be spread traders. It's the spread traders that have to unwind. So what we did in here is all we did was take days till expiration. I put three. So that's this week. Put the options between 10, 10 cents and $6, even though that might not have SMCI in it. But that's okay. And my main list and open interest of at least 2,000. And all we did in here is then we went through the app uh, in here and we want to look for options that hit up um, with up. a lot of open interest on both sides of the market. Okay. So that's how you could look up like ARM and Boeing and uh, Alibaba never works. But that's how we did it. And then it pops up. Wait a second. Uh, you just said you, you just got my attention there. Um, what you're, you don't, Alibaba is what the options are always mispriced or what, what do you mean? It never it works. Just, it's just, I, it must be because it's a American depository okay, receipt. Fair enough. Yep. Good. Um, I've seen, I've lost on a number of those stocks on doing open interest plays because it just doesn't work the same. Got it. I don't know why, but it doesn't, but you have a great question about Apple with the open interest at 180. Number one, the open interest doesn't update again until midnight. So Thursday night will be the key. But yeah, I see totally what you're talking about, about 180. With that 65,000, 12,000, that's pretty I'm good. In. Okay, so maybe we, maybe we do see 180 on a little bit of a pullback there because of all that open interest for sure. What do you think about Tesla? I mean, um, I'll, I'll, you, you know, let's, let me get your opinion as, as we look at a chart there. For me, my, my opinion on Tesla is, is pretty, you don't, I'm not even gonna open up the charts. We've had that bottom at 182. Uh, we hit 183 today on some news about Delaware. He's not gonna be able to relocate um, re, uh, uh, the corporation into Texas is what I was looking for there. May still happen, but Delaware sort of struck that down today. Um, and then his compensation package obviously is an issue as well there. So we're gonna have to figure that out. I feel like that's all noise. You mentioned that about Apple, like, you know, so what? Berkshire is selling 10 million shares. They have 900 million, you know? So you gotta try to figure out some of these things. What do you take of this news? I mean, Tesla, I can't think of another company out there that has single name risk like Tesla. I mean, maybe does Apple with Tim Cook? I don't know, but one guy can really Great. move this stock. Is that scary for a guy like you or is that something that you're really interested in, the volatility in a name like Tesla? No, it's, uh, it's a big deal. And uh, what's funny is, you know, there's been a ton of Wall Street Journal and New York Times articles about uh, his drug use. And you're sitting there saying, what? yeah, there's news. The stock looks like it's going to have a bump up. Or is he high that he's buying that much stock? It's pretty funny. Oh, okay. But okay. All kidding aside, yeah, you know, ever since they've had those articles, Tesla's underperformed the market. So we can say it's from sales. We can say it's from uh, other risk factors with lowering prices or competition. But really, the personal problems are what's bothered that have been the bigger deal that's why if he increased his uh stake i don't think it's gonna have as big effect as you think okay because i think a lot of people are like you know he's got a lot of issues okay that's so I, you know what i'm glad you brought that up because that's something that we never really talk about on the show like i mean I don't know, may maybe it's just a generation thing, but like to me, smoking pot and all that kind of stuff, it's, 
it's not something obviously that you want your CEO to be out there brandishing uh, you know, across the world. I don't think you should be going on podcasts and doing things like that either. But honestly, I'm pretty sure there's CEOs out there of corporations that you and I probably trade on a daily basis that are most likely doing way worse than puffing on a little plant. But we'll see how that does affect oh, us. Yeah, I mean, but it's not marijuana. The things were about LSD oh. and ketamine and stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, all right. So I, I was talking about that Joe Rogan take. I don't know enough about it. So maybe we'll, we'll leave that alone. Yeah, but hey, I mean... But it makes you wonder about overnight risk and something like right. that. But Agreed. then on the other hand, you wonder, you know, a lot of people are going to know that before us. So you wonder if you'll start seeing it in the put action. So, so the only thing that I can tell everybody, and I'll tell this to, to people at Simpler Trading as well, we are live with breaking news every single day at Trader TV Live. So if anything happens like that, bang, we're going to be smashing that trade uh, as well. Okay, anything that you're on right now, because honestly, it's Valentine's Day, and I don't want to keep you from those yummy California rolls. So um, let's figure it out. What else do you want to talk about quickly before I go over all the banger trades off the sticky note? Well, I'll tell you right now, one thing we just talked about is Tesla. Check out the open interest you're going to see at 190 tomorrow. So you're going to see a ton of open interest at 190 right. and a ton of open interest at 195 and 200. So it seems to me as if you see it drift to like 193. Well, really, if you see it like 197, it could definitely go to the round number. If you see it like 192 and you see the broad market sort of up, yep. but it just refuses to go higher, we could really see it suck back down to 190. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's absolutely fantastic. So let's look at a 192 into 190, figure out where the plays happen right there. It's only Thursday, right, tomorrow? So uh, we'll have options expirations on Friday. That should be really spicy as well. All right. Happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. Thank you so much for coming on once again. Very, very appropriate shirt. Um, I'm glad that the snakes are no longer in the plane there. So um, now we'll figure that out. So shout out to you and yours. Thank you for all the trade ideas. It's Chris Brecher. You can go find him at Simpler Trading. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. Take care. Ciao, my guy. There we go. How smart is Chris? Thank you so much uh, for all of that. All right, traders stay late. So we always do a little bit of a roll call. So we'll do that. But the one thing that I want to talk about, first of all and foremost, is something that obviously is so important to me. Whoa, that's too much. I don't, whoa, I don't want to scare everybody. All right, there it is. Happy Valentine's Day to, to you and yours, man. Uh, this is mine, and we're going to have a great time taking the kids to hockey tonight. That's fun. Uh, okay, uh, just real quick, man. We did have the sticky note today. What, Uber, come on. Do you know where Uber is right now? We were long Uber 75 break. We were long 74 dips. And we're going to show it to you right now. If you're not checking out the sticky note, you're making a mistake. I don't, it's completely for free. You guys check it out if you don't want to or not. But look at this, man. We only traded four names today. Look at Uber. Uber bought it early. Boom. Bought it late. Boom. This is $3 right there. Then we buy the 78 break. It's at 79.20. What else do you guys want? That's a good trade as we go calculations how could this guy have this much energy and these ideas we come every single day man 8 30 in the morning the sticky note drops around maybe about between 8 30 and 9 uh you know as we get some releases another name that we really like today was tesla off the sticky note we also put down here look at this so happy valentine's day first of all we didn't trade lift we can go look at that but look at this google 144 again need the support look at tesla 182 support okay so let's go over there and look at this so where's google and I, i'm trying to go fast because i got to get out of here uh uh, I got, you know, we've got kind of like a little bit of pre-day. We got to get some, my wife might be watching, get some red wine uh, going through. All right, we wrote down, what level, Fabian, did we write down? Did you say Google 144? Who would have done that? There's Google 144. It goes down to 144.10. That's a banger. We wrote down Tesla uh, 182. Where does Tesla go? 183. You want to take that risk? That's a banger there. For a dollar worth of risk, you get that. That's nine dollars. Uh, Robinhood. We wrote down 1385 on Robinhood. What's the high today for? I apologize for all these wicks. When we log out in and out, all the dark pools show up. We wrote down 1385. What's the high of the day for Hood today? Someone say 1385, bang, uh, right there. We had it as a break long, it never broke. So we didn't get long. So if it's not a long, it's a short. And then the name that we missed today, the funny thing is we didn't miss it, man. I even put on the hat in the pre-market. You know what I said in the pre-market? I, I, I honestly can't even make this up. Like, 
I said, if we dip down today into 2380, then we want to get long against 2350. Let's give this thing 30 cents. I mean, I'm almost feeling like I want to rewind uh, and, and watch that today. Here's 2380, by the way. The bottom of the day is 2376. I said, give yourself 30 cents. You know how you would have had that 30 cents within one minute? Uh, then it blasts up there. I don't even want to talk about the profitability on that. that this was $1.30 in the money in, 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 in a half hour. All right, thank you so much for watching. It's been a hell of a day, but you know what? Psych, we're not done. Roll call time, baby. I feel like, I, I know we talked about this. I'm 44 years old. So we have the okay boomer. I feel like that word psych, like we used to use that a lot growing up. Like, uh, look over there, psych, or, you know, I'm going to, here, here, I have a dollar for you. Psych? No, I don't, you know? Anyways, uh, all right, so what's up here? All right, it, it, it's roll call time. Let's do this right now. If you're in the chat, my love, you get it first. Shout out to Marissa. Um, what's up to Benton? What's up to Greg Moore? Skyhawk. Yo, he says great show. Thank you for watching. I mean, I, you know, we wouldn't do it without you guys. Oh, everyone's waving. What's up, my guy, Kevin Mendoza? He's been here for a while. Down to Sky, Nero Mark is here. Professor Jordan Love uh, is here. What's up, Professor Love? Uh, hey, what a good name for a day like today. Uh, he says not Jordan. That's hilarious. The Piper's here. Nick, Blue arrow midnight snowman is here by the way jordan love second uh in touchdowns thrown this year next to dak uh what's up to richard fan what's up uh rick gates midnight snowman everybody's here thank you so much rick gates the boring man i hope this show wasn't boring thank you for being one of the 4500 that joined us at the top it's a great show thank you so much for watching one more then they gotta put me thing is like we're grinding every day man i do this me and my guy Fabian, the only ones in the building right now, maybe Obi. And then we got to grind with the podcast. We're going to do that again. It's been such a fun day, man. This, this journey has just started. Just promise me that you'll buy the book I'm going to release. I'm not. I don't, I don't have a book yet. You know what? I was thinking about a quarterly, something quarterly that we can do, right? So we'll talk about that as we go. Thank you so much for everything. Please go follow me at Trader TV Sean. We're banging on 44, 45,000. We have 44,900. Awesome if we could break that 45K, we'll celebrate. Thank you for watching. I'm coming home. Happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. And no matter where you are in this world, give your loved ones a big, big hug today. And we'll see you tomorrow at 8.30. Ciao.